let's take a look at Romans chapter 8, 28 through 29. I mean, Romans chapter 8, 28 through 39. Romans 8, 28 to 39, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the doom of those who love God, and are called according to his purpose for them. 29, for God knew his people in advance, and he chose them to become like his son, so that his son were me the firstborn, with many brothers and sisters. 30, and having chosen them, he called them to come to him, and he gave them right standing with himself, and he promised them his glory. 31. What can we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? 32 Since God did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't God, who gave us Christ, also give us everything else? 33 Who dares accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? Will God? No. He is the one who has given us right standing with himself. 34 Who then will condemn us? Will Christ Jesus? No, for he is the one who died for us and was raised to life for us and is sitting at the place of highest honor next to God, pleading for us. 35. Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity, or are persecuted, or are hungry or cold, or in danger, or threatened with death? 36. Even the scriptures say, For more sake we are killed and we day, we are being slaughtered like sheep. 37 No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ, who loved us. 38 And I am convinced, that nothing can ever separate us from his love. Death can't, and life can't. The angels can't, and the demons can't. Our fears for today, our worries about tomorrow, and even the powers of hell can't keep God's love away. 39 Whether we are high above the sky, or in the deepest ocean, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God, that is revealed in Christ Jesus our all too known. God's sovereign love extends to every part of our life. Some believe these verses mean that before the beginning of the world, God chose certain people to receive the gift of salvation. That says God, the verse Ephesians 1.11, that says God chose us from the beginning and all things happened just as he decided long ago. What is clear is that God's purpose for people was not an afterthought. It was settled before the foundation of the world, before the overthrow of the catapult. People are to serve and honor God. If you have believed in Christ, you can rejoice in the fact that God has always known you. God's love is eternal. His wisdom and power are supreme. His will guides and protects you until you one day stand in His presence. God accomplishes His will and His purpose directly and indirectly. And so there you have it, the sovereignty of God. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you to hide these words in our hearts and minds and empower us to put into practice these truths. In the Lord Jesus Christ's name, we ask and pray. May God bless. May God bless you in the name of God. Bless you in the name of God. God bless you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God bless you.